What's up guys, CP Body here back with another video. Now when it comes to iOS devices, there's not really too much customization and stuff you can actually do. So a lot of people do go ahead and turn to jailbreaking their iOS device. But the question is, here in 2017, is it really worth jailbreaking your iPhone to get just that little bit extra functionality? So just a few years ago, jailbreaking your phone would offer a lot of features and functionality that you just couldn't find inside of general iOS, whether they'll be software tweaks that you want to do, customizations, or the ability to install more apps, there was just a lot more you could do with the phone once it was jailbroken. But today in 2017, with a lot of features coming from the jailbroken community into an iOS device, is it really still worth going ahead and jailbreaking your phone? So why not be positive, let's jump into a few positive things about actually jailbroking your iOS device. First and foremost, it's your phone, you can do whatever you want with it, jailbreaking it just allows you to take that idea to the next level. Going ahead and installing whatever software you want or doing really whatever you want with the device is a really big benefit of, well, just going ahead and jailbreaking your phone. Also too, you can go ahead and actually install, well, more applications. Because once you do jailbreak out of the walled garden, that is the iOS platform, basically you can do really whatever you want when it comes to applications. So whether you want to write your own applications and publish them to your phone without having to pay the hefty licensing fee that Apple charges you and without having to go through all the stages and steps to get your application onto the App Store, basically go ahead and load it up and now you can sideload it straight onto the phone thanks to the fact that it is now jailbroken. So when it comes to application, there's actually a lot of flexibility you can do, especially if you can write your own apps and not need to pay a licensing fee to get them onto the phones that you do want to use. Along with more applications you can use, it also too comes with customizability because you can load up whatever applications you want and also too because you're not locked into the whole walled garden experience of an iPhone, basically now you can go ahead and do whatever you want, customize the heck out of your phone and do a whole lot more. A little while ago, actually a very long time ago, back when this channel first started up, I had the iPhone 4S with a little custom bit of uh, code on there that allowed me to display the apps in a scrolling pattern much like Windows 8 was at the time. In the end, it wasn't really the greatest idea, but it did show that you can do a lot of customizability or you can do a lot of customizing with your jailbroken phone. So customizability does definitely go straight up through the roof because now you can change basically anything you want on the system rather than just the wallpaper. So if you want the dock at the top of the screen, why not go ahead and do that with your jailbroken phone? On the topic of customizability, there's also to the ability to unlock hidden features and just the functionality of the phone. Whilst this doesn't happen too much anymore, the whole idea of being able to swipe up to get yourself to the quick actions menu from the latest version of iOS, and really has been out for quite some time now, actually stemmed from the jailbroken community where features being able to swipe up and having quick menus were always available and Apple just sort of incorporate that up into their whole iOS experience. So having extra menus and hidden features that are just available for the power users can definitely help out here. And then finally, it's just kind of a cool thing to do. You get access to the whole bunch of applications that I had mentioned, the customizability goes through the roof, and you can just really make your iOS device very, very personal in a world where iPhones are basically all over the place at this point. However, with that being said, there are definitely some downsides to going ahead and jailbreaking your phone. First and foremost, I did touch on this a few times, and that is taking yourself out of the walled garden experience that is the iOS platform. Sure, it might be cool to load up whatever applications you want or run whatever code or add any features you want, at the end of the day there is a reason why Apple is so locked down with their hardware and that is to keep viruses, malware and just bad applications overall out of these devices. If we look over at the Android side, which I am a proud owner of many Android phones, unfortunately we are faced with more viruses, malware and just dodgy pieces of code, unlike the iOS side. Don't get me wrong though, there are definitely some dodgy applications out there on the iOS side, but versus iOS versus sort of Android Android, there is definitely just that little bit more kind of uh, malicious types of code over on the Android side. So taking yourself out of the wall garden experience exposes you to more of those, well, malicious pieces of codes and applications that may load up on your phone if you aren't exactly paying attention to what you're doing with your phone and install the wrong application. On top of this, there's also too no warranty. As soon as you do this, the phone is now no longer in a warranty. Sure, it might be fine if the phone was out of warranty to begin with and you didn't really care, but at the end of the day, if your phone still is in warranty, 
taking it out of spec and taking it out of warranty can be a really bad point. Personally for me, I do not root my Android phones until they're out of warranty as I've experienced some pretty terrible experiences when it comes to the Android side and phones just basically bricking themselves which you can find linked right up there. But taking it out of spec does remove it from the warranty cover and basically if something goes wrong with your thousand dollar phone, it's now a thousand dollar bricked paperweight that you jailbroke to get a few extra features. And honestly, iOS devices just work. A lot of people don't really take this into consideration about their devices, but a lot of devices just flat out work. Sure, there may be a few glitches here and there with iOS or the hardware themselves, but at the end of the day, it just works. Personally, from experience, when I jailbroke my iPhone or did jailbreak my phone, uh, essentially taking it out of spec and jailbreaking it did introduce a lot of instability and just a lot of application crashes. Even if I downloaded them straight out of the app store, they still were crashing from time to time, which was really, really annoying. So if you don't want to deal with crashing bugs and errors and weird pieces of code, just leaving it as a stock phone just basically lets the phone run as it is. Sure, you may not be getting as much customizability as you may want, but at the end of the day, an iPhone is one of the most polished piece of hardware that you can actually buy, and it just flat out works straight out of the box. And then finally, on the negative side of this whole jailbreaking experience, and, and that is basically, it's a massive cat and mouse game. Basically, every time a new version of iOS comes out, the jailbreaking community needs to release a jailbroken version before you can update your phone, otherwise you lose your jailbreak, and potentially things do go downhill really, really fast. So at the end of the day, it may not be the best option for all users. But to the question, Positives and negatives, is it really worth jailbreaking in 2017? And honestly, I don't really think so. iOS has gotten really, really good recently, and sure, there may have been a few bugs in the latest release of uh, iOS here and there, but at the end of the day, it's really, really awesome. The customizability that can be done may not be the, to the level that some people do want, but the phone just flat out works. Want a song? Grab yourself a streaming service, want an application, load it up from the App Store because there are now millions, actually there's now billions of applications uh, on the iOS App Store. So really, whatever you do need can be found on the store. And really, there isn't too much of a benefit here. Don't get me wrong though, customizability, and there are still some features out there that some people do want, which makes jailbreaking awesome. But for the average home user, jailbreaking doesn't make as much sense as it once did. A lot of features are now jam-packed into iOS and it just gets the job done at the end of the day. And the phones just straight up work, which is really what a lot of people do want out of their device, for it just to simply work. So TLDR, sure, there's a ton of positives to jailbreaking, including customizability, Ability, different applications you can install from just about anywhere on the internet and just a whole lot of awesome things that can come with it but at the end of the day there's also too a ton of negatives such as loss of warranty and also too malicious code that could load up on your phone and basically destroy it steal your data steal your money and all that kind of stuff which could be a really bad thing so is it worth it in 2017 probably comes down to the end user. Personally, I don't see too much of a value of jailbreaking my phones anymore. However, if you do want the iOS experience but want it a little bit more customizable, I guess jailbreaking is your only option. But for the home user, probably not the most sort of uh, best thing to do with your iOS device. But do let me know what you think of jailbreaking down in that comment section. Do you jailbreak your iOS devices or do you root your Android devices? Do let me know down below. If so, why do you do that? Do you want added functionality, added applications, or really is there something else that I am missing? Do let me know down in that comment sections. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Wow.